Hey, and welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. My name is Nathan Vader, and today I've been asked to do a review on a specific toy, and that happens just to be this thing over here the Jurassic World Owen Alpha Velociraptor Blue set. And have some fun with this puppy, so without further ado, let's get the unboxing underway. Try that again, shall we? Oh, oh, I just got from the car, but where's the toy gone? Oh, there it is. Let's just have a quick look around here, shall we? Oh, let's have a quick look at the box. Uh, on the front, you've got Owen and Alpha Velociraptor Blue there. You've got the motorcycle, Owen and his rifle. Velociraptor Blue there. A lovely little torch to light up his back. Uh, there's nothing else really, Dino Hybrid line, uh, LED light reveals skin pattern. Uh, on the back, you've got a lovely airbrushed image there of Owen on his motorcycle with blue there, and just a little, little description there of what the light does to his back. Uh, a couple of warning labels, the typical JW logo there, the Universal Hasbro sign, um, and just a little description there of Owen Alpha Velociraptor Blue with hybrid dinos on the loose. Owen Alpha and Velociraptor Blue charge into the action. The only problem is now is we've got to get out of the box. But how do we get out of the box? <laughs> well that was fun anyway let's look at this raptor figure uh, as you can see it's just like the other raptor set uh, it's got uh, a little bit of dino damage there you've got your little CCTV monitor there but minus the red paint Hasbro decided not to supply that this time which is disappointing uh, nothing else really typical screw holes the patterning on the back there would show up with the torch uh, it's um, got the chomping action, Ta -da! Um, but it stands really weird. You have to put it in an awkward pose, and it always looks like it's disgusted with everything it sees when you put it in this pose. It just <laughs> anyway, with this torch, you just shine it on the back there, and it shows up this lovely little pattern. It's okay, I guess. You can't see it very well unless it's in the dark, but it's it's all right, I guess. And the torch. Um... <laughs> You can't really do much with it. It's got a little handle there for Owen. Let's see if he can hold it. Uh, I've got the hand here. And uh, come on, come on. It's a bit awkward. But, uh, come on, almost. And yes, there you go. Owen could technically hold this torch, even though that's not going to happen. Um, let's bring in uh, the motorbike. And uh, I did notice you could try and fit it to the crossbar here. It's, uh, it's not great, but it should go. Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if, if you want to do that, if it'll stand up. Yeah? Oh, look at that. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah. Hmm. Take it away. Um, and here's the rifle. Um, pretty good detail on the rifle, actually. Um, quite impressed. Uh, just... Just uh, can't really say much about it. It's a rifle. It's got good detail, I suppose. Uh, the scope's there. Uh, you got the extra ammo on the butt of the gun. Um, yeah, the scope. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good for a rifle. Well, here's the bike anyway. Uh, Staff, it's the wrong bike. It's an Indian or a Harley. It's not what it should be. Um, it's got a matte finish. Um, the level of detail's pretty good, though. I have to admit. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's okay. It's got slightly rubberized tires, hardened plastic to rubber, I'd say. Um, little kickstand there that folds in and out. Rubber foot pegs for moving the legs, I suppose, to get a bit more of a stable position for Owen to sit on it. Handlebars, they're slightly rubbery. I guess that's so when you put the hands down onto the bars, it's got a better chance of getting a good position on the bike, I guess. Um, uh, on the front there, you've got your headlight, uh, mudguard. Um, yeah, it's got nice detail on the engine tank there. Uh, the exhaust pipes seem to be a champagne gold colour for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, it's uh, I, I, I don't know. As a bike, it's eh, meh. As some of you are aware, this bike has obviously been used somewhere else before, and thanks to Hasbro, they like to reuse stuff. And uh, they reused it from a different set, which happened to be this. The Indiana Jones Mutt Williams with motorcycle set. Uh, it's what really annoys me, is the Owen figure has zero articulation when it comes to this Mutt Williams one, which has uh, an extra joint in the knee. So not only can he stand correctly, but he can sit down on the bike correctly too. Uh, I mean, all they did was took the panniers off, um, took the horn off that was underneath the headlight, Resprayed it and whacked it in with the rest of the set. Oh my god! What happened to him? Oh, I remember now. Taking him out of the packaging, uh, his arm fell off. I could not believe it. I just slowly pulled him out of the packaging, gentle as anything, and it came off. I mean, if you look here, there's a small plastic section uh, where there'd be a little peg that went into his arm, and uh, I was uh, quite careful after the first one fell out, and it happened again. I, I, I swear down I was the most careful person when holding this figure after the first one dropped off, and it just broke off in my hand. I, I couldn't do anything with it. I was so disappointed. But, you know, I don't know. With the detail, uh, he's got decent boots. Um... The trousers are okay, but there's zero detail when it comes to his shirt. There's just a faint outline of a shirt there. His his waist jacket's got a bit of brown for a waist jacket. Um, on his back, you've got the knife. Um, you can see a little bit of the buckle. Uh, the head, it looks great. You know, Sean Ashmore's likeness was really captured here. I mean, uh, oh, what? It's meant to be Chris Pratt. Oh, right. Oh, Okay. Um, he's got nice highlights in his hair. Um, they kind of went nuts when putting his beard on. There just seems to be just this brown mass around his face. I don't quite get that, but um, it doesn't work as a beard. He has lovely blue eyes, though. Lovely blue eyes. Um, his head just moves side to side. There's no real movement in his head. Uh, but let's put him on the bike anyway, see if, uh, see if he'll look, look good on the bike. Uh, yeah, you can just about sit on there, I suppose. It's uh, it's not great. Oh, let's give him his rifle though. Uh, uh oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, let's um, put his hands back on him and uh, oh um, ah, uh, it's just poor. It's just terrible. It really is terrible. Hasbro could have spent a lot more money on this. Just a little bit more, and they would have got a better product. I mean, the amount of money they spend on Transformers and uh, Star Wars, and then you got this. I bought this here, this whole set, for £7. Now, it, it doesn't look amazing, um, but neither does the Jurassic World set, to be honest. Now, all of this contains a vehicle, two dinosaurs, an action figure with the exact same articulation, <laughs> the face might not look as pretty, but it does the same job. Um, so you get, yeah, two figures, uh, two dinosaurs, a action figure, a vehicle, trap sets, and a gun for £7. And Hasbro want £20 for this. This is just awful. If a kid, like, I don't know, like a 10 year old kid was handling this within five minutes, it'd be destroyed. It's just no good. We've seen this before. There's, you know, they just don't try. They really don't try. It's awful. 
I mean, maybe I could uh, ring up Hasbro and get a refund. Uh, it's just, it's pants. It really is pants. So that was my review of the Owen and Velociraptor Blue Motorcycle set. Would I buy it if I seen it on the shelves for £20? Yeah. Would I buy it if it was 10 If it was free, happily take it away. But for me, it's just poor quality. I'm sure Hasbro can produce a lot better items than this. Uh, so yeah, I just I just don't think it's worth it at all. So I'd like to thank uh, Jurassic Collectibles for letting me present this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more fantastic videos on Jurassic Collectibles. Thank you.